mobile stroke unit is a first response ambulance with a portable CT scanner that can identify if the patient's having an ischemic stroke or hemorrhage. We have clot busting medications that could break up the clot for uh, ischemic strokes. We also have a CT technologist on board, paramedic, a uh, nurse, and a, on teleconference, a uh, vascular neurologist. It's a whole acute stroke ready hospital on wheels that responds 911 to patients suspected of having a stroke. The idea is, is how can we get the clot busting medication to the community faster, right? So how can we eliminate time? The faster you treat patients, the better they do. So two million neurons a minute die from patients are suffering from a stroke. So how do we get it faster? We have the same doctors and nurses and CT techs that take care of the patient in the emergency room. Instead, they're right on the mobile stroke unit. Stroke is sort of on the cutting edge of what we call pre-hospital treatment. If you think about it, with any disease that's an emergency, the sooner you can treat the disease, the better. We monitor the radios and we get a direct dispatch for our team to go out. And sometimes we'll get just a little bit of information before. They'll say the patient may have right-sided weakness. So I'm gonna kind of key into that when I get on scene. So we get on scene. Usually another team from the Houston Fire Department will already be on scene. They kind of give me a report as we're walking in. We have the physician on our telemedicine walking in with us on a phone. Then I get to the patient, and when I get to the patient, I focus on an exam. Does it look like it is a stroke or not a stroke? My medics are getting information about medications, onset time, looking at anything that would exclude them from receiving TNK or anything. TNK, it's a place, and it's known as a clot buster. It's approved to give to heart attack victims, stroke victims, and it goes in and solves the clot so you can restore blood flow. We make a decision to put them on the truck or not to put them on the truck. Once they're on the truck, we put them on the cardiac monitor, blood pressure, O2, and we position them for CT. If we have time to throw in an IV, we will. If it's CT's ready to go, we just CT them. We all jump off the truck, CT is performed, and we get back on. If the blood pressure looks like it's an issue and we know it's not a hemorrhage, we'll try to get them into the blood pressure range for treatment. At the same time, right after CT, I do a quick assessment again to make sure that there's been no change in the neurological status. If everything's a go, we push T and K. As soon as the T and K is in, we get them ready for transport and we head off to the hospital. And our goal is to be very fast. We know that um, every minute counts and once those neurons are gone, they're gone. The treatment's unique in that the imaging plus the drugs and the uh, structure of the treatment, including the, everything from the neurologist down to the person driving, uh, is very specialized. Every team member has their role to perform. The neurologist could typically get the imaging done within about three to four minutes. Uh, it takes about two minutes for the acquisition of the imaging and about a minute to upload to our cloud, to our database, and they can access it from there. Well, that timeline is critical. I think um, the most important thing on the unit is to get the CT first, so then the neurologists know what kind of stroke they're dealing with. So with that imaging just only taking four minutes, he could make a decision right away and they could get the treatment within that time window. We know that every 15 minutes that goes by, it's one month of rehab. So immediate image makes all the difference. It's never been done before, so we created the wheel. From the research project to collaboration with EMS, to uh, working with medical directors in the field to really understand how it was gonna work, to collaborating with nine hospitals. So we have to have a comparative trial. So one week we ran the unit, the next week we went to all the hospitals and said, um, and enrolled patients that were having symptoms that would have been put on a mobile stroke unit. And then when we compared them after eight years in a randomized trial, blind on the 90 day follow up, patients that were treated on the mobile stroke unit did significantly better than the patients that were brought in by standard EMS. 
You know, we were the first in the country to do it, and now there's 23 of them. It has impacted more than just Houston community now, it's, it's gone across the country. The community can really profit from having some top-notch care really at their sidewalk. That's what I think drives the paramedics sometimes in wanting to help people, but I think the difference is that here you have a higher level of care that honestly was not available just a few years ago. To see someone improve by the time you reach the hospital is just wonderful. We've been stopped at least two or three times by someone that says, hey, you treated my grandfather and they're doing so fabulous. We had one time we were on scene and a lady stopped and said that we had treated her neighbor. So we're making a difference. Patients will come on the mobile stroke unit paralyzed and unable to talk. We can treat them more quickly and when we go to see them the next day, they're normal. That's what keeps us going and I think keeps the entire team activated and interested and committed. Thanks for watching this AAN TV feature. Now an important disclaimer. Content is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.